Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make uh, an assessment with a set timer. We're going to use Google Form. So, of course, the first step that you need to do is making the questions in the Google Form. Here I have make one question and I'm going to need to uh, click the setting and go to quizzes and toggle toggle on on the make a quiz and then i want immediately mark the student work after right after they submit and then i want to remind them if they miss the questions or skip the questions i want to show them the correct answer after they finish and then i want to also show them the point or the uh, values for each number and then click save after that click these three dots and then click add on and then you're going to need to find the time of I add on just wait okay wait and wait <laughs> now and then after that you click in here time of five dot me uh, you're going to have uh, to wait again until the search engine works this is what I want just click it and install it okay after you install this this is the right one and then you're going to have this uh, uh, add-on toggle and when you click it there is Tamofy me okay before we continue to that let's go register first uh, your account to Tamofy so open tamofy.me um, like this and then after that you just need to sign in with your google account use only the svp uh, sch.id not svp smart or not your personal you're going to be directed into this page when you basically just need to uh, fill any basic information your first name your last name and everything set the password and then save your account when you save your account and you're going to be directed into this page the page in here will have the uh, code that later on you need to use after this to pair your account, your Google Form account with the time of I. So how to pair? Click the add on and then click time of I. Okay, sometimes it's happen. Reload again. Um, click the add on. Click time of I click configure okay and then add on time limit permission continue mm, okay just give permission for whatever they want so this is the account that I have and what again yeah, they want to see our document and just say hello it's not our account anyway it's cool account and then authorization successful and yeah configure again and then you're going to have this <clears throat> window pop up here See, this is the time when you connect. So, take a look at this again, the code that you have, and then you basically need to then paste. You only want to, you only need to do this one time. So after this, it's gonna be automatically connect. Whenever you have made the Google form using this email, and then it will just directly connect to the uh, term of file. So click connect. And then enable for this form specifically. <clears throat> uh, just wait and wait uh, until it's basically sync. It's already synced, I think. When when this page this page already appear, this window already appear. If you go back to your nah, that's this gonna change like this. This is the page where you only can find the code before. Now they already connected congratulations with the google form and the name of the doc is demofy.test 
Now, after it's connected, let's create a test. Create a test. And then let's, uh, this is the things that you have to understand in here. Um, you, you have to, if you want them have this document as one click link, so you have to write the name one by one. So let's say I have my email. Okay. After that, let's say for one question, I will give two minutes. Okay. I will give two minutes. And then I will give auto close when time is over so they can do anything. And I will uh, allow to view the quiz score. So this is the setting. Um, if you want to add, in other email account for example i will add my own email account in here so let's say i want to add mm, my other svp account so krishna at svpsmart.sch.id as my student okay so let's have this two minutes again <coughs> after that just click create after you click create in here, you can either copy URL one by one or you can send through email. This is the time where for me, because it's pre uh, prepared, it's prepared before. So I will set this like uh, one night before or two days before the test day. And then when the test day come and I already have the students in the Google Meet and then they are ready with everything, then on that time I send the test. So let's say I want to send the test to um, all of it. Okay, and then go next. And then I will also give a message in here. For example, do not open until you are instructed to do so. Okay, and then I click next, and then I can send test sending email now um, if I go to my email see the email in here also including the message that I wrote do not open until you are instructed to do so so if I open it uh, this is the name of the test and then the time and then after I'm sure want to do this and you like uh, you can instruction okay now open and then you go open the form okay here as you can see uh, there is a timer in there and let's say I answer this and I have my name oh no uh, submit and then when I submit yep there will be few score um this is from the student point of view you got 10 out of 10 congratulations this is the correct answer and if you then take a look at this one um when you refresh this you're going to see that their krishna already finished in two minutes there is started time, finish time, and there is also score in it. This is unfocused one time. It usually referred to the uh, because the because the timer file will use the webcam to actually uh, watch you <laughs> whether you're focused at the question or not. So it's not really it's not really reliable, but it's there. So yeah, that's how the way we make it. So if you can see here, other students haven't take the test yet. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much.